The biggest change about um, 2020 that I've heard you say yeah. seems to be primarily motivated by the coronavirus pandemic. Yes. That um, the changes that you've made have been largely with regard to that issue from right. 2020. Um, were there any other changes that you noticed yeah. in your congregation from, from any of the other issues? For sure. I mean, I would say there were three uh, main um, challenges, tests, trials in, in 2021 was COVID. Uh, the second I would say was the racial uh, issues that we saw throughout the country, Kenosha and um, uh, Minnesota, um, Breonna Taylor. Uh, and so that was the, the second real challenge. Um, and then the third was the election cycle. Uh, and uh, that again is where the smaller groups really helped us because you and I, I can sit here and you and I could probably disagree about almost anything. I, I can hug you, well, not yet, but at some point. I'd still give you an elbow. <laughs> you know, I'd elbow, you know, we'd yeah. still love each other and be able to leave, but some guy that I don't really know or I'm not really connected with, um, saying something that I would disagree with might rub me a little bit mm. uh, in a wrong way. And so uh, we were able to, in uh, whether it be on a Sunday morning or in those videos that I was sending out, be able to talk at a at a kind of a basic biblical level, um, but then allow the discussion to take place uh, among those smaller groups, and I think that was really valuable. Um, and it was uh, it was valuable in the sense of when you talk about fellowship, when you talk about community. We as believers have to be able to agree and disagree better. We have to be able to agree and disagree. I don't know, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say like Christians so that they will know us by our love. Mm. And being in small groups has really helped that. 